Buildings that have stood in a local community for nearly a century came crashing down today on purpose. No one's though no, seemed to be upset about losing these pieces of the past. In fact, people who live and work near them say they were happy to see them go. Westmore Ross Gadotti has this story now, new at six. Behind me is part of 10th Street here in New Kensington. You can see the big demolition machines doing what they do best as this particular part of this particular street is going to be wiped out. And people living around here say it's blight epitomized and what's happening behind me, well, it's about time. With gravity and help from some heavy equipment, what stood for 94 years came crashing to the ground in New Ken this afternoon. This one's the worst. I'm glad to see it coming down. Excellent move. Part of $23 million in block grant money to New Kensington is paying for the demo of four buildings along 10th Street. A few of the derelict structures, the scenes of drug activity and multiple fires. The daycare kids from the community center over here walk. And when they walk past these buildings, if any of that, those bricks fall off, they could be in danger. There was many, many things that had to go through with this project to make sure it would happen. New Ken Code Enforcement Officer David Knox says this project has been planned for several years, but it was more than just paperwork holding up the demolition. At one point, somebody filed uh, that there was uh, endangered bats possibly in here, so we had to go through and verify with the Game Commission that that wasn't the case before this could even proceed. There's uh, other places in town that are like that too. You know, or that, you know, they should be condemned and tore down. We identify the things that need to be done. We try to prioritize the needs in the areas. And while many we spoke to say an empty lot is a lot better than a crumbling building falling in on itself, they want to see all this destruction lead to something positive. Store something, something that will help the community get back on its feet. In New Kensington, Ross Gadotti. KDKA TV News.